Hey guys, Phil from Got Memories here. This video I'm going to show you, well, I'm gonna hope to retrieve information from a JVC hard drive camcorder. Now, I see these a lot. A lot of people have them from the, you know, 2005, 2015, kind of before the iPhone kind of really took over and all smartphones, etc. So a lot of people, like this one here is a 60 gigabytes and potentially, the thing is with these camcorders is it's kind of like how much footage is on there, don't know until you plug it up to a computer. So it's kind of like asking how, much, how long is a piece of string. So you don't know until you plug it up. And also the files that are on these things, I've got another one over here. Um, and oh, and uh, let's have a look. So we've got, this is a Sony, this is quite rare actually, this particular one, it's a hybrid. So it's got a DVD player built in and a hard drive as well. And these have SD cards or memory stick um, cards on them. So um, I'm gonna, and just a little background, I've been doing this for 20 years, gotmemories.com in Phoenix, do film transfers, video transfers, based in, uh, based in Phoenix, but, uh, and this is all the, a bit of a quick plug right here. So if you're looking to get this stuff done and you're just thrown in the towel, you've got videotapes, you've got film reels, you've got all this kind of stuff. I do it all, but I'm not here to shove me down your throat. I'm a resource for education. And if you know, you're just watching this going, yeah, um, then um, hopefully this will help you out. If not, I can do it. Um, so here we go. So I've plugged this up. Luckily, this particular customer had all the original cables and everything. So um, if you do have drivers, oh, and also if you are seeing the subtitles and stuff and the spelling mistakes, it's auto generated. And if you need to skip through the video to get to the points, there's, you know, scroll with your finger or your mouse and there'll be chapter points along the bottom now, in the different stages. So I'm going to have a look here, doing this one handed. So I'm gonna plug this in. Now, sometimes you need drivers, depending on PC or Mac. A lot of these, let's stretch this cable, okay. So, this is plugged up. Let's see what we got. Okay. Just thinking for a second here. Hi, everyone. Um, if you don't like seeing my face in here, just close one eye. Um, okay, so we're gonna go playback on PC. And these have all got different, um, create DVD, save data on a PC. Okay. Okay, so hopefully this should now pop up, back up. Okay, we're in business, there it is. Some of you might have luck getting this little icon on your screen. If you do have a PC, it might look a little bit different. Now, within here, you can see all these, whoopsie, um, all these different um, things. So it's a bit of a scavenger hunt within these files to find the actual files. So let's start clicking through. Nothing in there. This is always fun and every manufacturer. Okay, here's some pictures. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create a folder here. I'm just gonna put pics because I'm getting everything off this camera. All right, there we go. That's copied, so at least that's done. So as I find things, I'm gonna put them in. EXE MOV, nope. Private, JVC, oh yeah, these are all like the drivers. Yeah, no, we need to find the videos. Okay, so here we go. One and Daisy's wedding. Okay, well, that's a good sign. Whoa, have you ever seen anything like this before? 2015. All right, so these are all, if I click on these, because it doesn't have the icon. It's just gonna go, what in the hell is this? Choose application, MOI, MOD. What you want is MPEG-4, so it's gonna work with everything. 
phones, smart TVs, editing software, cloud. So this is where the trick, tricky bit comes in. So I'm going to just take, and if I go down this file list, again, so many files, because every time you hit stop, start, oh, there we go, bing, bing, that creates a file. So some of these, you know, a second, they're three kilobytes. Um, I mean, this just goes on and on and on. Here we go. Um, we've got another one. I mean, every single one of these folders has files in them. So they all need to be consolidated into one folder, which without boring you too much, and you can watch along or you can scroll at the bottom, but I am going to make this, well, let's see. What typically for this video, no script at all, I'm just gonna do one folder to show you. Um, typically what I do here is just take all of this mess because it is got a sequence to it. Manager info, yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, I mean, this is it's crazy. This was a good idea at the time, but if you're going through this going, what in the hell? You know, sometimes I'm in the same boat. So if you are looking to do this yourself, this is what I recommend doing. There is a program called iSky Video Converter. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so we're gonna create an output folder. New folder, I'm just gonna put, yeah, I'm just gonna call it um, Video uh, disk drive. Okay. And then I'm going to set the destination folder. Here we go. Boom. That's okay. Now, for simplicity reasons, just for this video, I'm going to do Juan and Daisy's video wedding. So I'm going to highlight all of these. And I'm gonna, fingers crossed, this program usually converts. It does cost money, 107 files. So I'm gonna leave that alone. It is loading. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just let this one roll. 53, you can skip to the, the next bit in the chapters. And hopefully, this is going to be some readable content, playable content. Um, while that's loading, it's going to do a little whip around. Um, so, if you've got old film reels, videotapes, it's where all the film transfers are done. There you go. Little or nose into what goes on. And then uh, I'm in a retail complex here in Phoenix. I keep this thing up so people can't see in during the midnight hour when I'm in here working my magic. Okay, where are we at? 53. Okay. Oh, Mingo. Let's see. Hey. Okay, have you ever heard of an MOD file? So, 153 files. I probably should have just put one on there. Um, let's have a look. What I'm gonna do for this video, because I don't wanna edit anything, um, I'm just gonna, so it has loaded, so, the process would be, do you want to keep them all as their own files uh, separate with 153, or do you want to just make it one file so you go merge all videos, and then everything will convert. Now, I'm gonna just shut this down because I have done a quick test. So for the sake of this video, and not boring you half to tears, I'm only gonna import a couple of clips and then get an output file. 
to see that it works. Okay. Right, let's just merge all videos. We're gonna convert this. What are we talking here? Not long. Couples. Every time you hit stop start on these cameras, um, it, here we go, eight seconds. So every single clip, it's converting it now. Uh, so source, MOD, time frame, spot size, resolution, and then it's converting it to an MP4. It's actually compressing the file. Now that doesn't mean it's gonna be less quality, it's just more efficient. And then it's still keeping the same resolution. Um, successful, successful, here we go. Um, okay, drum roll. Okay. Hello, it's gonna make a little ding noise when it's done. Hey, all right. So, video, so it's outputted. Now here is the magic moment. Okay, now we've got an MPEG-4 file here. You can name it, you know, whatever you want, but I'm just gonna drum roll. And here we go. So the, all those small little clips, just those few that I did right there are what two minutes 29 but with a hundred and something just from the wedding it's gonna be it's gonna be uh you know much more than that plus all those other folders as well i've got to go through and organize those and render them um without boring you too much here before i trip over it's a lot of work so there is you know, you've got to have all the original cables, just to recap here, the plug everything in, power, you must have it on power, because it's going to take a long time for it to transfer all the, you know, duff files over, and the USB cable that goes in. Sometimes it's going to prompt you to download new drivers, there's going to be all these compatibility issues, potentially. Now within there are going to be all of these files, it's going to be a mess, especially if you had the camera for a long time. Um, sound here. Oh, yeah. Um, and if you've had it for a long time, uh, hopefully the hard drive still works. Um, and also within here, you can have these little tiny um, SD cards. Sometimes, if you uh, woo, micro SD cards. Um, but it's a lot of work. It's a pain in the ass. Point blank, um, as you can see right there. Where am I looking? Camera. Okay. And um, so if you do want to give it a go yourself, iSkySoft, um, it's about 50 to $100, depending on what levels you get. Um, you're gonna have to Google it or download it from the App Store. Um, uh, but if you just say, you know what, I want to have someone do it, well make sure if you are looking around on the web, you're gonna find a company with perfect reviews because you've got one copy of this stuff and everybody gets spammed by this company here south tree and legacy box people ship me these boxes because they see my videos and I'm like screw that i'm not giving it to them i memories look at this uh they scrub <laughs> got memories um and um so you you've got to know who's doing it and that's why i have a youtube channel so people feel comfortable um, that they can see the person that's doing the work and the, the premises and everything and Google, it all fits together because you've got one copy of this stuff. So if you do want me to do it, um, you can contact me, gotmemories.com or fill out the quote form. Um, just to let you know, I, I don't compete with all these companies. I'm really busy, I'm a one man show, so I'm not cheap. I mean, I'm not ridiculously expensive, but you know, it, it's, it's a fair, I charge a, a very fair rate for excellent service and getting this done and peace of mind. So, um, you know, if you are like, oh, I'm only gonna pay 20 bucks to get this, forget it. Like, don't waste your time and my time. <laughs> um, I'm really busy. So, um, yes, so best of luck to you. And that's if you've got JVC, Panasonic, I mean, all these different companies made these hard drive cameras. So you've got to, you know, the, the basics are pretty much the same. 
Um, but uh, if you just say, you know what, screw it, and you do want to get hold of me, um, you can also text on that same number. That's about it. All right, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.